Although you wouldn't have thought it was a possible thing in Microsoft Project, we can add a recurring task. Now in our Master Project 2014 file, a recurring task in here would be quite useful. We already have at the beginning a planning meeting, and then we have our three sub-projects that follow on. Throughout the length of the project, we could have some review meetings that take place. Now they would be useful as a recurring task. So if I come down after the three sub-projects, or maybe they'd be better above actually, let's go put them above. So we right click, insert task, and that gives us a space here to insert our recurring project meetings. So to insert a recurring task, we go to Task Ribbon, Task Dropdown, Recurring Task. What's the task name? Project Reviews. What's the recurring pattern? Well, weekly. Every week on a Monday. They start on the first Monday of the project. Well, that's not appropriate because we've got the planning meeting on the first Monday of the project. So let's go for the week later. Let's go for the 18th of February. Will the end at the last Monday within the current project range? But if we experience a delay at all, they will need to go on. So let's push them further than that. Instead of April 21, let's go to May 5th. How long do they last? Well, they don't last a day. It's just a two hour meeting, just to review where we are, what we're going to do. Let's update the project file. So it's a project review, it lasts two hours. It recurs every week on a weekly basis on a Monday, starting on February the 18th, going through to May 5th. That's about covers everything. Okay. Now what you'll find happens is it actually creates a summary task, which is the name that we put in for the task itself, and then numbers each individual project review sequentially. So project review one, two, three, four, however many they're likely to be across the time span of the project. 64, in fact. Which means we can actually compress the project reviews and we don't need to see them. And when we do, we output them. Now, each of these meetings has been manually scheduled. Now, everything we've done so far has been automatically scheduled based on links and the start date of the project as a whole. These are now in manually there are two hour tasks for each Monday from the 18th, 25th and into March. And we can see them on the Gantt chart as little two hour blocks. If I scroll to the next one, it appears there. Choose one a bit further down, scroll to task and we see it there. Now it's a bit of a pain because we've got 64 of them to have to keep expanding the project review section to see where the next project review meeting might be. But what we're going to do is a little option we saw much, much earlier but haven't utilized yet, is if we select all of these project review meetings, so from project review one down to project review 64, then go into the task information and choose the roll up option. So make sure there's a tick in there. When we say okay, all of these little two hour meetings get rolled up into the project summary bar, you see that? So which means that when we compress and hide all of those individual meetings, we still see where they occur in the summary task. So that way, when you're looking at a particular project, so maybe this one here, scroll to task, I can see where the next meeting is going to be. So it just appears nice and neatly across the top without having to expand out all 64 of those two hour meetings. By using the roll-up option, the little taskbar then appears in the summary line and I don't need to expand out because I can see where the meetings are going to be. Every Monday, they appear on the chart. Now, obviously, if I want to assign any resources to these meetings, then I can do that multiple select thing again. So we select all the meetings, task information, resources, and I will need to go to all of these meetings as will most of the other people, decorator and the joiner for certain, because they're big in this, and then OK. And you can see then that me, the decorator and the joiner appear at each individual little blob, but not in the roll up, because that would make the summary very messy. So let's compress those again. But as far as allocating resources to us go, 
That means if we're due to be doing an actual task when that meeting's on, we won't be because we should be in the meeting, which then forces some over allocations, as you can see here. So we're over allocated to pulling up the car, taking down the curtains because we're also assigned to being in the meeting. And the same in the other two sub projects. So before we actually started to run this project, you would want to run the over allocation report just to thin out the work so that we can go to the meetings and not be over allocated when we should be pulling up the carpets. So that's done in the resource sheet. You can see it's mainly me that's over allocated. So taking us back to what we did before, we could then level this resource, which is me, just me, level now. I'm now leveled. So there's no problem with over allocating me. And no little red men here. And what you'll find is it's just moved things on. You see there, there's a split in that task there because I've got to go for a meeting for two hours. That's fine. It's all about the planning process and making sure that the resources are there at the right time to do the right job.